Welcome back to Next Generation. In today's video, we will be redoing our bathroom. You're probably wondering, didn't you just redo your bathroom? Well, yeah, we did. We did, but we, we don't like it. <laughs> I blame the hardware store for mixing the color that I thought I liked. They mixed it wrong. Jen? This is what happens when you let Rich take the reins on no, design. <laughs> it's not my fault, okay? But also, we wanted to add a little bit more visual interest to our bathroom. Yeah, it's pretty boring in there. So that's what we're doing today. We want to change it up. It's a small space, so we want a big impact on design here. Yep, and in our past videos, we started working with some new materials. We'll be bringing those back because we like them so much and they're so easy to work with. And they're cheap. This entire transformation was under $200 and it looks like a brand new bathroom. So don't be intimidated by price or by the work because it was really easy. Took a little bit, but it was easy. Yeah, it took a lot of time, but it wasn't difficult at all. So the first thing we're gonna do is prep the space by taking everything down and off the walls and exposing all of our holes. Oh gosh. There's a lot of them. So we're gonna start with our wall treatment. And for this, you will need two different types of MDF board. Or yucca board, underlayment, whatever you wanna call it. It's got a bunch of different names. You'll need a four by eight sheet and also pre-cut four inch MDF boards. You'll also need liquid nails, some caulk, specifically for walls, and a nail gun to attach it all onto your wall. A stud finder is optional because <laughs> you will see me have a hundred <laughs> issues with the stud finder and I made a thousand holes anyway. So <laughs> that's optional. And of course we'll be painting our entire wall. If you want a super inexpensive transformation for your bathroom, all you have to do is paint. A little paint goes a long way guys for a room transformation. So this bathroom is about one foot by one foot and both of us in there with all of our <laughs> tools and supplies and the camera was almost impossible to film, so please excuse these angles. They're, it, it was a little difficult. That was okay. tough, yeah. All right, so once you've found all of your studs, we're gonna go ahead and apply that MDF board, the four by eight sheet, to the wall with the nail gun. Into the studs. Obviously. Because if not, it's just gonna... It's gonna fall off. Oh, that's true. So the reason we're using an MDF board is because our wall is textured. So for the wall treatment, we want it to be a smooth surface on the bottom half of the wall. So this is gonna achieve that with the least amount of work. The MDF board fit perfectly on top of our baseboards and flush, so it looks really nice. Yeah. So I think anything thicker just would look weird. So originally we wanted each of our vertical four inch pieces to be in the studs. Normally studs are spaced out the same amount consistently in your house. Not ours though, because our house is built a little different than everyone else's. I don't understand. So ours are completely different sizes between each other, so some of our four inch boards will not be going into studs. So to fix that issue with attaching them onto the wall, we're gonna add liquid nails on the back, and then we're going to nail gun that onto our MDF boards on the wall. Another trick would be to add your nails in an X, going in with your nail gun on one side and then the other so that your nails are basically in an X in the drywall, so it's a little bit harder to rip out. The next step was our favorite part of the whole transformation. Sure, <laughs> sure it was. We started caulking all the gaps and the creases and the seams and all that good stuff. The nail holes. The nail holes as well. Let's just say we went through a lot of caulk and a lot of rags. A lot of time and a lot of raw fingertips. Yeah, but it came out really good. So, you know, hard work pays off. Like we mentioned, this DIY or this transformation is extremely easy. So this part was easy. It just <laughs> took forever yeah. and our fingertips were Indian burnt <laughs> by the end of the day. The best way to do this is to cut the tip off of your caulk super tiny. So a lot of caulk doesn't just come exploding out. Yep. And then also using your fingertip or a damp rag to run over the bead of caulk to kind of smooth it out and wipe off all the excess caulk. Once you paint, the nail holes are gonna stand out like sore thumbs. So we also <laughs> yes. fill those with the caulk as well. Oh, we didn't say we sanded the holes. Oh, that part was the worst. <laughs> I did it. Once you've caulked everything and it's dried, I think it only takes like an hour. So by the time you get around the entire bathroom, the first spot has probably been five hours. So. If you take as long as we do, yes. I don't think I have any skin left on my fingers after this. No fingerprints. <laughs> 
So now that we're done with all of the wall treatment, we've prepped everything. There's no nail holes exposed. There's no seams. Everything looks pristine. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and prep for paint. We're gonna go ahead and mask everything. Our light fixtures, floors, <laughs> anything that you don't want paint on. We used a brush, an angled brush, and we did the baseboards, the seams of our wall treatment, and just any places that were hard to reach with a roller. And then we went in with the roller, rolled it out so it was nice and smooth and there were no brush strokes and everything just looked really good because with the roller you can add a lot more paint than a brush and it will go on really even so I liked rolling as much as I could. Yeah because it's the easy part. Yeah and so now for the fun part we're going to try some paint samples. Follow us on Instagram because y'all got to vote on there on our final color and you got to see sneak peeks of the whole bathroom before YouTube did. Oh so don't miss out. Who knew that picking a white paint would be harder than the color that we chose? We okay. chose, what, three blues, and right when we opened all three, we knew which one we wanted. We only sampled one blue on the wall, didn't we? Yeah. So we ended up going with Dove White, White Dove, mm -hmm. and it is know. the perfect white. It is a true white, but it's not too bright on your eyes. It's I love perfect, it. especially in our lighting against the blue. And the blue we went with is Waterloo by Sherwin Williams. The White Dove is Benjamin Moore, in case you're curious. And we'll put down below in the description all the supplies, of course, but also the paint colors. How long do you think this took all together? Long time. <laughs> Three days. Four, maybe. Between all the painting and drying. It's a little annoying because you have no bathroom door, you have no mirrors, you have no light, so you're living in a construction zone. Unless you have another bathroom, then you're very fortunate. We don't. So I ended up doing three coats total of the white. I say I did because he was not involved in painting at all after priming. Oh yeah. <laughs> Must be nice. nice. I did some touch-ups. So things got a little carried away. I'm now reorganizing the entire bathroom. Full transformation here. I love it. <laughs> love. You know I love blue, any shade. And this just looks really nice. Definitely worth it once you're finished and you take all the tape off, clean off all of the paint off the floor, and stand back and look at your work. It is the most satisfying feeling. Oh yeah. Because once you're in the moment in painting, you're kind of cursing yourself out and regretting <laughs> starting, but it's worth it. Take it from me. So we're gonna add one more little feature to our wall. We're gonna do wallpaper on one wall. I wanted to do wallpaper on the entire upper portion of the bathroom, but wallpaper is extremely expensive. It's a shocker. I know, it's crazy. That's why I'm shocked we did this video at under $200 because everything for a bathroom tends to be over a hundred <laughs> each. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I I'm flipping this upside down. No, 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 no. So we're just gonna wallpaper one wall, the first one you see when you walk in, so it can give it just like a little extra. A little eye-catching wall. Yeah. A little accent wall. So that we don't have to add stuff onto every single wall because yeah. I feel like that's an overload sometimes in a really small space. So mm -hmm. we're yeah. just gonna wallpaper it. We're just about complete. We're gonna go ahead and add all the final decor, kind of bring the whole room together, make it feel homey. Are you ready to see the final bathroom? I don't think they're ready. Well, if you're following us on Instagram, you'll get to see it first.
So that's all for today's bathroom transformation. Leave down in the comments how you would transform your bathroom because we love to see your guys' ideas, different perspectives. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.